you everyone. It's Monday. Monday shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do our shenanigans. I gotta drop this clown off at the uh, optometrist to get his eyes checked again. His eyes are going crazy. <laughs> you just keep looking at the camera for What that do you minute. want me to say? I don't know. You're involved in this. Okay, this is annoying to hold, you know? <laughs> Here, I'll hold it. Hey, bro. This is Bart. Can you see yourself? I can. There you are. There's a steering wheel. There's you. So anyway, we're uh, we're heading off to do our chores. And what do we got to do today? Shopping. We do have to do grocery shopping. We have to shopping. drop off the GoPro at the post office to uh, get a new one. At the FedEx store. Okay, same thing. Well, not really if we drop anyway. <laughs> um, and then whatever we have to do. Um, and then you drop me off. Yeah, then I drop you off. That'll be the best chore of the day. Because I love you so much and I want your eyes to be all right. 2020 vision. Anywho, um, we're getting we're getting psyched and ready to go on our trip. I gotta check the oil. I gotta check all the fluids. Three days. Yeah, we did the uh, we did the tire pressure what about two weeks ago? So we're good yeah. there. Everything's okay. good there. Maybe we should check it again. Point nine. But I have to get my. Um, headlights adjusted because I'll tell you what guys and I feel horrible about this but they're too doggone high and every time I go out at night people are flashing me and I feel horrible and I've looked on the internet how to adjust these things and it seems like nobody really knows and most people say just take it to the dealer you have to take it to the dealer which I don't want to do I mean who wants to go to the dealership let alone to go there to uh, adjust your headlights I know I don't but it's starting to look like maybe I have to do it that way because it looks like you need a special tool. So unless you guys know how to do it on a Toyota Sequoia, I can see the screw, but I can't get to it. There is a piece that I can get to, but when I move it, it doesn't go up or down, so or left or right. So I can see the two adjustment screws. I just can't get to them. What a pain that took us. Thanks a bunch, Toyota. Do you believe people actually watch this? No. <laughs> We have fun on our Monday trip yeah, though usually. We do. Except for when you're in a foul mood. Because you're you put me in a foul mood. Oh it's or my you fault. You were in a foul it's mood. It's my fault. Yes, it is your fault. So you allow your mood to be dictated based on the people around you? Yes. Not good. You do the same thing. That's not true. I'm happy all the time. <laughs> That's funny. You know what, if this camera wasn't on, I'd pull over and I'd beat you to within an inch of your life right now. Okay, and I'll make sure the camera's on, though. <laughs> At least they'll get the audio. Uh, I'm gonna tase you, bro. Bro? <laughs> bro. Speaking of bro, oh, that's one of those words that has been way overused, number one. I've been guilty of that, but there's a couple of phrases that I just, I'm sorry, guys, I can't get into, I won't, I won't participate in. That's butthurt, I mean, Adult men shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. Like, for some reason, some jerk-off on the internet said it once, and then a bunch of other jerk-offs decided to start saying it. And I don't get it. Number two is triggered. That's like the newest one that I've seen. Were you oh, triggered, yeah. bro? It's like, <laughs> come on, really? I mean, you just know they must be 17 years old. Even my 13-year-old son doesn't say those two things. You should better not. No, I know. I'll don't. stuff you in a locker. Whoa. <laughs> So please, guys, whatever you do, you talk any way you want, but when you're commenting on this channel, please try to refrain from those two things, man. Well, you know, it's no limits and no restrictions when you're commenting stuff on YouTube. You can just say whatever you want. Yeah, you can, but uh, I just I just read those comments and I go, ah, oh, and for whatever reason, I immediately... 12-year-old kid. Yeah, I immediately discount them and the person, you know, you might say the most brilliant thing after saying that, and I immediately discount it. So anyway, for what it's worth, not that my opinion's worth anything, but there you go. Nerd alert. I'm not the nerd alert. I didn't say you were. I mean, you're I know. I, I, you know I didn't say that you were. I was just saying that I'm oh, not. Okay. Yeah. So it's 50 degrees out in Charlotte today. It feels nice. Yeah, it's overcast, you know, cloudy. It rained like a SOB yesterday and last night. There that goes. Great job recording. It's not my fault. I didn't say it was your fault. Do you want me to just record your face? Oh, my face is not. It's it's like a face made like for I radio. Like I can just hold it like that. You'd do probably better to just put it on your face while I'm talking. You just you can stare into the camera like you always do. Hey, wait. Stare. All right, fine. I won't. I'm not the one on camera anymore. Hi. Now I'm the one on camera. Yeah. 
You know what? We got to get that. Uh, it's a one terabyte hard drive, and I hooked it up to the Mac, the old Mac, and it would update daily. And I've had more problems with that. Uh, what is it? Time Traveler or whatever? Way back or not way back? Yeah, it's time. Travel. Time machine. Yeah, time machine. I had more trouble with that with the hard drives. You plug in an external hard drive. It seems to. It was intuitive when you first took up the Mac. Ba 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 ba. It's done. And it'll start backing up, and then all of a sudden it stops. And then you got to figure out why it stopped, and it's all this baloney. And then you figure that out, and then it stops again. So eventually, it just wouldn't do anything. So I had to get a new one. So I got a one terabyte. Boom. And that just doesn't work. Yeah. So we need to figure that out so we can back up our stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm just asking for trouble. What am I thinking? We got to get on that. Like now. All right. I'm turning around right now. Okay. Are we going the right way? Um, I think to the post office. Post? I'm not going to the post office. How many times I, mean, I got to tell you that? Uh, yeah. We're looking for a FedEx drop box. There's probably one down here. Oh, yeah. It looks like it, we're going to the way to the recycling. Put that package in there, boy. We need a new GoPro. All right. GoPro's on the way. Crow. Is that a bad omen? <gasps> Maybe. He doesn't like us delivering packages. Yeah. He wants us gone. All right. My boy's going to get All his right. eyes checked. Peace out. Peace, buddy. My big man.